Hi everyone, so this is my current setup that I have for my makeup. This dressing table is the Malm IKEA dressing table and I've added this uh, marble sticky back plastic to it just to give it, well just to make it look a little bit different to be honest. Um, this uh, mirror is from B&M and if we move on I've got this uh, set of drawers here. Uh, these are the Alex drawers from ikea as well and then also my little chair is from ikea to talk you through my storage and things that i have here on top i have uh, this little acrylic holder and this is from amazon i'll link it below uh, it wasn't very expensive though it was actually like this came on the top part and then underneath there was some drawers and I did have it all on top of my dressing table before but it looked really messy and there was just too much on the dressing table so uh, I bought these drawers so that everything could be thrown into there and then it didn't have to all live on here because it just looked a hot mess before. Yes, yeah, so these are my lip products. Um, these are like my fancy lipsticks. So all my Charlotte Tilbury ones, the Naomi Mac ones, so Ruby Woo. Yash, Velvet Teddy and Top. Um, then these are like my NYX things, Kiko. Lip pencils, I've got Urban Decay Liar, got a Rimmel Red, got an Illa Mask, a purpley one. Um, Shark Tilbury Pillow Talk, everyone needs that. Perfect nude liner. Then I've just got these brow pencils from Benefit, Precise to My Brow, really nice, love those. Uh, my Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses, my Too Faced uh, liquid lipstick and my ABH liquid lippies. I've just got this, this is actually a letter holder um, and I got it from Asda Libin and I just thought it'd be a really nice way to like to display my palettes. Uh, so these are all like my favourite kind of palettes that I use pretty much every day. Um, and then I've also got this book at the back which is called Face and it's by Pixie Woo um, and it is so good if you're starting out as a makeup artist or if you just kind of want to know more about makeup and the basics of makeup then I would definitely recommend buying this book because it will teach you everything that you need to know. Uh, so palettes wise I've got the Violet Boss Holy Grail, use that every day. I uh, got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Don't use that as highlighters because they're too glittery, so I use it as eyeshadows. Then I've got this Sun Dipped Glow Kit. Um, this is really nice. Uh, Modern Renaissance, everyone should have this. If you don't have this, what are you doing with your life? Uh, this is probably like the only cool tone palette I've got, but I do really like it. And it smells, oh my God, it smells like chocolate and vanilla and just unrealness. Uh, this is Smashbox of Blaze palette. I got this in America. So nice. I don't know why more people are hyping about these because this is so nice. Like, I'll actually show, open it. How nice are those colours? Like, they are just my tones. Like, how autumnal are they? Very nice. So, this is my dressing table. Um, I said before, it's the Malm Ikea dressing table. And the reason I really wanted it was because it's got this massive big drawer uh, in it. But, the problem with it is, it doesn't open up all the way. So, you can't get to the, to the things at the back properly, which is kind of annoying. I had to get these to put all my extra stuff in. Because before, everything just used to be on top of my dressing table and it looked a mess so i'm so glad that i got these alex drawers as well um, and i'll just run through some things that i've got in here uh, this is kind of like my go-to stuff uh, that i like to have to hand really uh, so at the back i've just got some single eyeshadow i've got uh, model done blush topshop highlight opal and champagne pop becca mac um i can't remember what this one's called Double Gleam, um, Model Dern, Golden Sand, and then Illamasca OMG, which is really nice. Um, then this is like my bronzers and my powders. So I've got the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, Shark Tilbury Airbrush Falls Finish. So good, definitely buy it. 
um, Benefit Hula, these are just some modelled own bronzers, but they're, well actually they're powders, and this is actually a really good tip, so if you like bronzer, but you like it to have a little bit of coverage to it, then buy a pressed powder in a darker shade and use that as your bronzer. Um, Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, this is nice, but it's very light. Um, I normally use it on like my older clients or my fair skinned clients. Um, Nars Laguna, a classic, everyone should have that. And then just a Studio Fix powder. Um, these are all my concealers and my contour things. This is quite nice for the cheap contour thing. Uh, Nars, Tarte Shape Tape, Unreal. Uh, these are really good, these Maybelline eye erasers, so good. Uh, this model zone one's not really very good but it's all right i just keep it anyway uh l'oreal infallible pro glow which you can't get over here you can only get it in america but it's really nice it's like a glowy finish to the concealer and i like it on my older clients i think it looks a bit softer then i've got a nat and then i go nas then i've got a mac paint pot in soft ochre which i think every man and his dog has got and this is really good as well um Max Select cover up. I have got it in the shade NW15. And here is like all my liquid highlighters, primers, uh, moisturizing thingies, all that kind of stuff. So, Becca Backlighting Primer, so good. Uh, Max Strobe Cream, it's all right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What have we got here? NYX Liquid Illuminator, that's quite nice. And this is really nice. This is the Illamasqua uh, Radiance Veil, I think. Uh, some more of those NYX ones, but just in like different colours. This is nice. Uh, Too Faced, Poreless, very good. Uh, I'm running out of this, but this is really nice as well. Shout out to every Wonder Glow, really nice. You can use this as just like for the days, for the days when you want like no makeup. It just gives you that really nice glowy base. So we've got back here, I've got my mascaras. So we've got Charlotte Tilbury, Kit Hayes, Maybelline Brow Drama, Lancome. What else have we got in here? Another Lancome one. Oh, that's a matte eyebrow pencil. It's not very good though. Um, where's my... Where's my baby one gone? Here we go this l'oreal voluminous lash paradise it's called something else over here i got this one in america um but it's so good it's definitely a massive dupe for the two first better than sex very very good uh and i've just got an eyeliner from ben nye and then i've got some brow products from kate hayes which are really good and then this little mask of one this is all my foundations Illamasqua Skin Base, which are stocking quite a lot of colours. Really nice. Love it. Perfect. You can build it up to be full coverage. It is quite full coverage anyway. I'd probably say it's about medium to full, but you can build it up to be like super full coverage. So I do have that in a lot of colours in my kit bag. Um, this Nip and Bab one's quite nice as well. I use this for like adding colour. Um, these L'Oreal Pro Glow ones are so nice and I need them to bring it out over here because this is like... Oh, this is like my perfect foundation because it's like medium coverage, glowy, dewy. It's just perfect. It's just gorgeous and I need them to bring it out over here. Um, True Match. True Match is nice. It's just not got enough coverage in it for me. Um, Illamasqua Rich Liquid. This is too full coverage for me. <laughs> but I keep it for the girls that love that full coverage finish. Then I've got these Hourglass. Stick foundations, these are really nice, like these on older clients um, and on photography work, great for bridal. Um, then I've just got some powders, Ben Nye and then Laura Mercier. And that is pretty much everything in this drawer. Uh, this is just like all my stuff that I just like to have to hand. But this is my Alex set of drawers that I got from Ikea. Um, and on top of it, I just have my appointment book. So I've got my lamp that's from georgia asda and then the little pot at the back is full of spoolies at the moment but i want to get some like really nice color brushes uh, to put in there just for display 
and then I have my perfumes in front of that they're just from Zara because I really like Zara perfumes so let's take a look inside in this top drawer it's just um a mess to be honest it's just beauty blenders cotton buds painkillers jewelry contact lenses sunglasses yeah just a messy drawer drawer for things that I didn't know where else to put and then inside this drawer this is my really nice drawer so here I have all my glitters and my pigments uh, these glitters are just from Amazon I picked them up when I was doing face painting at college these heavy metal liners from Urban Decay are so good I 100% recommend those perfect for um well if you love like smoky eyes with like a little touch of glitter like apply, applying normal glitters like these is a pain in the ass uh, but these just make it so easy and then I've just got some pigments at the back so I've got some MAC pigments these are from the Nutcracker collection and then I've got a Makeup Revolution pigment and then I've got this Reflex Blue pigment from MAC then over here this is all my charlotte tilbury stuff so i've got some palettes at the back here so i think this one's the yep yeah, this is the dolce vita palette really nice obviously you can tell that i really like that palette yep yeah, this is the rock chick palette again super nice nice gray tones in there and then this one is a limited edition one. This was the first palette that I ever got. Yep, so this was one of the first palettes that I ever got. Uh, it's called Fallen Angel. It's a limited edition one. The top shade I've used because it was absolutely gorgeous. But yep. Then this is a little pocket red uh, lipstick. I've got these shadow sticks as well. And I've got a NARS shadow one and a Marc Jacobs eyeliner over there. Um, as well as the Rock and Curl and the Feline Flick from Charlotte Tilbury. These cream eyeshadows are really nice. Um, I've had them for quite a while now though, so you can't really see what that says on the bottom. But there we go. Eyes to Mesmerise, Marie Antoinette and Jean. Um, this big palette. Instant look at a palette. Five minute makeup on the go. I've used most of it up but there's the highlighter, the bronzer, two blushes and three eyeshadows and I also have this really nice uh, MAC palette this is the Burgundy Times 9 really nice uh, that's all my Charlotte Tilbury stuff then at the back I've got these uh, cover effects custom drops which are so gorgeous highly pigmented and great for mixing in foundations and um, to give you that added bit of glow i've got a nars orgasm i hate that name i really wish i would change that name it's just awful but yeah a nars orgasm liquid blush uh, some eyeliners and brow products in there that i didn't have anywhere else to go and then over here is all my lashes so i've got some uh, bella lash and then some tatty lashes, lily lashes, some glue, and then some Ardell ones, the Ardell Demi Wispies, and some eyeliner at the back there. Oh, it's just like nail polishes, not that interesting. This is my brush roll. This is my brush roll, this is where I keep on brushes. They are extremely dirty because they have been used recently and I do need to clean them. Um, I'm not gonna go like too in depth into my brushes, but I will just do a quick run through. So um, it's like eyes, then, uh, highlighting and contour brushes then face brushes um i really like real techniques brushes and uh makeup revolution do some nice brushes that are cheap uh there's a few mac brushes thrown in there as well um and then the rest of the brushes are just brushes that i got in my kit from college this roll is actually from college so i just uh this is really good just for a color switch inside it's just got this weird sponge thing and you just swirl your brush in and it gets rid of any excess colour that's on your brush but you can use that same brush but for another shadow I've just got some clips, sharpeners, a matte brush cleanser, hand sanitizer, nail polish remover, some more brush cleanser, pads and then they're all single lashes 
this straw. So this straw is a drawer of stuff that I don't use all the time, but I keep anyway because I probably need it for clients. So I've got some brushes over here that I don't really use all the time, um, but I keep them anyway because I might find a use for them one day. Uh, this MAC palette, this is the MAC warm neutrals palette and i did used to really love this palette but since i've had like other palettes that are like warm tones i've realized that this one's not that good really um but i keep it anyway because you do get those clients that are just like uh, i only like mac stuff so yeah but my lip palette which we got from college this kit here's palette is quite nice um a lot of browns in there nice though that's just a little concealer palette that is big ben nye palette and we got that at college and we had to use that for like pretty much everything uh these are all my makeup revolution palettes most of them are like highlighters and blushes and things like that um makeup revolution is really good if you're starting out as a makeup artist to fill up your kit but i will say that the cases break very easily they've all pretty much all of my uh cases have snapped so just be careful and bear that in mind. Um, masking tape, which I never use. Uh, just some like lipsticks and some sample lipsticks that I don't really use that often. At the back, there's just um, some glue. And then in this bag here, it's all my lash and brow tint in stuff. Then this is my skincare drawer. Well, skincare, fake tan, makeup removers, you name it, it's all in here deodorant the lot so just from a few a few things so i've got makeup wipes this kapari coconut body glow so nice if you've got fake tan on and you want to look all shimmery and glowy um this makeup spray is really nice model done setting spray and it's so much better than than fix plus and it's so much cheaper um nip and fab cleansing pads they're the foaming ones they're really nice as well this mario badescu is so good i absolutely love it everyone says that the rose one's better but i love the smell of this um there's some clinique in there lancome bondi sands gradual tan um saint what else have we got in here fix plus some toner this is really nice. So this is a supermodel body from Charlotte Tilbury. It's basically like highlighter for your body when you've got fake tan on. So nice. Right at the back, I have got this. Brazilian bum bum cream. Oh my God. If you love the smell of holidays, coconuts, almond, marzipan, vanilla, custard, all that good stuff, you will absolutely love this. It's got a high concentration of caffeine in it so when you rub it onto your skin it works right into uh, the, the fat and the muscles that you have and it gets the blood flow going really quick and it just tones up um, your skin and makes it look more plump and firm it's just beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous you can get it on cult beauty um i think it's 44 pound for this big tub and they do a smaller tub that's 18 pound and it's oh it's just amazing i need some more because i'm running out and then right at the back i've just got some face masks so sephora charlotte tilbury and then some samples and then i've got this little clay mask here this end spa one that's quite nice and yeah and that is pretty much it for that set of drawers so I really hope you have enjoyed this little tour of my makeup collection. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!